an EEG is a great marker and measurement of the function of, of, a, um, of a person's brain. Um, but like any other test, it's kind of a snapshot of what is going on in someone's brain at that time that the test is being taken. So there are a few factors in that um, number one is the length of the EEG. And so a shorter EEG, um, perhaps a half an hour EEG, um, has a less likely chance of capturing an EEG that may go on for um, hours or even days. And so part of an EEG result is based off of the duration of the EEG. Um, part of it is also assuming that um, the patient is a very compliant patient and that the information and the data that they're getting from the EEG is going to be good data. Um, that's very technician dependent, very patient dependent. And so sometimes a study may come back suboptimal or normal um, depending on the quality of the data that's been generated as well. So besides duration of the EEG and besides the, the quality of the data, um, Again, we go back to that snapshot in time in that um, if someone is actively having a seizure, then it's very easy to capture seizure activity on the EEG. Outside of um, a patient having a seizure, what we're looking for is indications or markers that there is an epilepsy, um, meaning that those neurons are not so happy. Kind of like sparking is what I, I tell my patients. Um, an unhappy neuron will kind of set off sparks, and what we're looking for in an EEG is indication that there's an unhappy neuron there. Sometimes those neurons are quite active and making lots of sparks and we can see it on EEG and sometimes not. And so oftentimes you will find um, neurologists that will repeat EEGs um, several times, sometimes two routine EEGs, sometimes then going on to an extended EEG, be it at home or in the inpatient setting. But when it comes down to it, uh, neurologists don't treat uh, EEGs, we treat the patient. And so even if an EEG is normal, but a patient continues to have episodes which um, look like seizures, which act like seizures, um, and are certainly concerning, then oftentimes it's a discussion between the neurologist and the parent. Um, do we go by the testing, which is normal, or do we go by the patient and what we believe to be an epilepsy? Um, that's a discussion you know, between the patient and physician um, and their family because it, it is a discussion of risks and benefits, especially when you don't have testing that supports the diagnosis.